Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a medium tutorial in which we will show you how to simulate an embedded shell static analysis using ANSYS APDL programmation language. So we will begin by uh, there's very by using uh, the ANSYS uh, interface. There's multiple ways to simulate a to create a. a a shell, but since we're going to use the APDL command orders, we're going to do it in a more interesting way. So the first step is to create, we're going to create two key points on the origin. One is going to be the first key point on the origin, we just have to type K comma, and we will create, oh, first we have to go to preprocessor, then we create K comma, and we'll create the first key point, you see there's point and there's a key point here. And we'll create a second key point. We put comma for the num name of number of key point if we don't want to assign it. Comma for the x, comma for the z, y, and for the z we'll put at a hundred millimeters. So if we have done that correctly, there's two key points which we're gonna verify with the k list comma p. There's one here, and there's one there. There's two key points here. So. Our next step is going to, we're going to create another key point at one meter. We're going to go back and use this order k comma number of key points we are not interested in, along the x axis one at one meter, and we're going to create a key a, a line between key points one and three. We know. The key points have been progressively assigned, so we have one, two, three. For the line, we're gonna do L comma one comma three. We hit enter, and we have created the line between one and three. We're gonna repeat the procedure L comma one comma two. So when we look in the isometric view, we will do an L plot. We can do a G plot. We have the key point and the line. And the line. So we're going to extrude this line along this other long line in order to obtain a shell. So we're going to do an A drag, comma P, which is extrude areas along the line. We hit enter. We select this line. OK. Along that line, hit OK and we will obtain the shell, the cantilever shell. Now, where the problem with extruding is that you usually have multiple lines. We'll see here, if we do a line list, here we have two lines, and here we have only one. So in order to avoid that second line, we're gonna do an, a merging of numbers. So for that, we do num merge comma KP key from key points. Do this order, then we do the line list, and you'll see that there's only one line on every shell. So our model is basically completed and pretty accurate. So now what we have to do is normally we'll go define element types, real constants, material properties, and so on. And we'll do that from the common line. So element type is ET. The type is the num. The number of the element is one, and the, the name is one eighty one. You can verify that, but add it, delete, delete. We have type one shell one eighty one. Now we don't have uh, we don't have uh, real constants for the shell one eighty one, but we have sections. For that, we're going to define the section information, and to do that, we're going to use the sec type command sec id is one type is shell comma we don't have a subtype so comma and the name is going to be plate after we hit enter we have to use the sec data information so we type sec data comma and we're going to put five millimeters Thickness, so it's five divided by a thousand because we're working in meters. We have not defined the materials yet, 
so we're gonna go and define the material properties the material properties are MP material properties the parameter parameter is density comma material 1 comma 7800 MP EX Young's modulus material 1 2.1 E11 and the next one is MP PRXY Poisson's coefficient for material 1 and the value is 0 0.3 we can check that by going and looking at the material models and indeed we have the properly defined material model okay so we have the element types the material properties the sections defined now you have to use the element size perform the modeling and assign the properties of the area so right now what we have here is we have our shell but as it doesn't know that this area this shell has the properties that we define that can be you in those can be introduced with the a a t t area properties and it, it, will, it will we will just have to give the right properties here for the material I have material one for the real constant there's no real constant type is one for the element system we don't have it so section one so now we should have this if we do an a list comma peak we have those properties assigned material type and section we close this we're gonna do the element size so we can do the area element size comma all areas and the size is going to be 0 0.25 then we proceed to perform an a mesh comma all and we'll obtain four elements because we chose a very large meshing size because it's too big we're going to do an a clear which gets rid of the meshing you plot a plot and a a a size that all comma all comma 25 divided by a thousand we're going to use a 25 millimeter meshing so a mesh comma all and now as you can see we have a very high quality meshing which is looks quite good okay so now we have the model we have a meshed what we'll have to do now is um, put the con the boundary conditions and the forces for the boundary conditions we're going to use the dk comma p displacement on key points comma peak and we're going to select these two key points all degrees of freedom value zero and we're going to use the forces fk comma p for zone key points they're going to be on the y direction equal to minus 50 newtons oops i think i i, did, I made a little mistake i'm gonna delete all the all the forces because i think i put a force here by mistake okay yeah so we repeat the fk order fk comma peak we select these two nodes key points minus 50 okay so now what we have to do is go to solo and solve after waiting a few seconds we have the solutions done and to plot the result we have to do a post one to enter the general post processing menu and here we'll do pnl solve plot nodal solutions u displacement summation and as you can see we have the displacement summation plot we can go back and do stress equivalent which is for misses the stress we can do pili vect comma u for displacement is a vect the vectoral displacement plot and you can also we're gonna go to the summation you can use the slash each shape comma one comma one 
which introduces the the plotting of the shell taking into consideration the thickness that we assign to it so that's pretty much for today i'm gonna go and close and say so now you know how to use the shell models and into the apdl common lines we hope you enjoyed this presentation and we would like to thank you for your attention for more tutorials please visit our community and follow us on the social media